Hi, and welcome to the Motorola Wireless LAN video performance demonstration. I'm Andrew Peters. I'm Director of Product Marketing for Motorola's Wireless LAN Business Unit. And I'm joined here by Rajiv Iyer and Shiv Mehra. They're both senior technical marketing engineers in Motorola's Wireless LAN Business Unit. We're going to be demonstrating Motorola's ability to stream high quality video across an 802.11n wireless network for high densities of mobile users. So Rajiv, can you tell me what the purpose of this test is? This is an important test because video is becoming a leading application for companies for communications and collaboration. Network IT administrators need to be assured that the, while the users are getting a quality video, be it streamed over unicast or multicast. And wireless is now becoming the de facto access medium for the network. So this, this presents a challenge for the IT administrators. Wait, Shib, what are we going to be showing here? Well, Andrew, what we're trying to do here is uh, replicate a real-world video streaming solution over a wireless network, something that you would see in a campus environment like a classroom or even a corporate setting. Uh, the intent here is to basically associate about 50 11N clients to a single AP or an access point and deliver video over a wireless network. So, Rajiv, is there something special about Motorola's wireless LAN that enables it to h provide high-quality performance for applications such as voice and video? Definitely. Um, video is a real-time application, so we have several prioritization and optimizations built in for real-time applications like video. That involves special packet handling and uh, better queuing and overall a better radio design. So end to end, the packets are prioritized over the air, they're prioritized in the software queues. So there is definitely a lot of engineering involved to deliver a great quality video. Yes. So Shiv, in the world of wireless LAN, video is considered multimedia. And multimedia comes in two different flavors. There's unicast and multicast. Can you tell me a little bit about them? Yes, Andrew. Uh, Video can be delivered as multicast or unicast. Uh, there's a key, the key difference between the two is in case of unicast, it is a video stream, a one-to-one -one session that is uh, streamed to a client. Uh, common examples are uh, video on demand training that corporations put in place for the employees or YouTube style video. Uh, on the other hand, uh, multicast is a one-to-many video stream uh, commonly used in uh, webcasts uh, and telepresence. Let's get started with some tests. We're going to run two tests today. The first test is going to be a unicast test where we will stream 50 video streams to 50 clients. Uh, our second test is going to be a multicast test where we will stream one stream to 50 clients. As seen in the topology diagram, the VLC media player is connected on the wired side of the wireless LAN infrastructure. The AP731N is adopted uh, on the RFS switch using a gigabit Ethernet switch. It's powered using uh, standard PoE. The AP is configured to work in the 2040 megahertz. Uh, it's also enabled for short guard and thus has a capability of uh, transmitting and receiving at 300 megabit dead rates. Let's look at the results of our unicast video streaming. As you can see, the video quality is great with 50 concurrent unicast video streams. In real customer sites, we have scaled up to 100 unicast streams on a single access point. Let's look at our multicast video results. In spite of multicast going at a lower data rate, the picture quality is great. The primary reason for this is because of multicast prioritization that has been enabled on our access point. So what we've seen here is Motorola's ability to consistently deliver quality video, both unicast and multicast, across an 802.11n wireless LAN comprised of a single access point with a single radio, and deliver that quality video to 50 clients simultaneously. Now, you know, I've seen a lot of literature from Cisco talking about their capability to handle video over their wireless LAN. And I would, I would personally think that you would get very high quality from Cisco. I mean, you, you might think that as well. Um, what if we were to run the same test on a Cisco wireless LAN? Certainly. Let's give it a try. Okay. Now, Rajiv, any time you, you run a test like this, you, you want to make sure you look better than your competitor, right? So you, you maybe you uh, run an older version of code, you, you misconfigure the device, you put in the wrong antennas, uh, maybe you use an old controller. Uh, you do something to make sure that you look better. So w what are you going to do in this to make sure that we look better than Cisco? Well, that's easy. We are going to pick up their best access point, the Cisco 1250, 
and we are going to pick up their latest controller, the 5508, and we are going to use the latest code that's available to us, and we are going to follow their best practices. Yeah. And same facility? Same facility. What about the network? Same network. We are running the test side by side under similar, under same RF conditions. Now we are going to run the exact same test on the Cisco infrastructure. What we have from Cisco is the Cisco 5508 wireless controller, Cisco 1250 access point. They are both connected to the gigabit Ethernet Extreme 450E switch. We are actually powering the Cisco 1250 using a separate power injector that is uh, getting delivering the power to the access points. And we are going to do the exact same test by streaming video from our video server here to, uh, to all the clients that are associated to the Cisco 1250X points. We are going to start the test now. So let's get started. We have configured Cisco Wireless LAN controller according to Cisco's best practices. We have set the quality of service to gold level, which is for the video applications. Let's look at the unicast video streaming test results with Cisco. Uh, this uh, video quality looks acceptable. This is good. So now we are looking at the multicast video results. Perhaps the clients are having an issue with uh, out of order packets or high latency or jitter. There is an issue here. Why don't we see how Cisco compares to Motorola side by side? Now, judging video quality is, is rather subjective. So I'd like to ask our professional videographer, Rana Chinza, to run the video comparisons. Thanks, Andrew. Let's get started. OK, well, um, both of these look pretty good, uh, although I'm noticing some uh, jitter on the Cisco. That's causing a bit uh, more delay in quality degradation. Mm, I think the picture speaks for itself. As we said, judging video is rather subjective. So we're going to let the viewer draw their own conclusions here. But we've done our best to replicate a real customer environment with actual, not emulated video. So we believe we've done fair and balanced testing using current Cisco and Motorola wireless technologies and best practices.